I'm not looking forward to getting back down. Show everyone that down. I swear he's trying to kill me. to go to shore and stock up on some food and then I think we're gonna head further down the coast which is where Matthew showed yesterday he's in the background he just shaved his head I'm now look at the break. sun shining on your head so yeah we're preparing to go ashore just gonna lock up Nova make sure no one can break in using a boat hawk and then go and explore a bit of Tenerife I think Matthew's preparing a tender it's for our shore journey and this is our anchorage now that it's nice and sunny from the shops our shopping bags are up here uh, unfortunately some prawns defrosted in the fridge and now it smells like um, well it stinks like fish to be honest so Matthew is arms deep in the fridge mm. cleaning it all out you find some interesting things in the fridge stinky fridge yeah we also have another problem well we might we're gonna up anchor in a second but look out the window let's see if it there you go we've got this yacht really close to us and our anchor is over there, so it may mean that we just squish him, but we won't. We'll try and figure some out. I'm sure Captain Matthew will sort some in. I'm not allowed to call you that because you say it's disrespectful. Yeah, it's not a rank. I'm not captain, I'm a skipper. Idiot uh, Matthew. I have not earned a rank. Skipper Matthew. Yeah. So we'll leave him to clean the fridge, sort an over out, and then apparently we're going to the best anchorage in Tenerife. Well, it's the best looking one. It's Cliffs. I can't remember the name of it. It's about 10 miles from here. It's uh, secluded, so no buildings or anything. So just cliffs, and it'll be really nice for swimming and that. Yeah, I got my hat on. Protect my vulnerable bald head from the sun rays. We managed to get our anchor up without crashing into super yacht. Yeah, it was very close, so yeah, it was pretty much on our anchor, but it was all right. I don't know if you can even hardly hear me with the wind. Do a bit of fishing, Matthew says. Hopefully, maybe we'll get something. Because we'll we still see. never caught anything apart from mackerel on board. Yeah, yeah. We suck. <laughs> I'm gonna say that it's probably one of our best anchorages that we've been at. Uh, probably on, say, on par with Scotland. I mean, the mountains around here are amazing. So if I come out here, let's see if I can show you it. Look at this. And then the beach. Well, volcanic-y thing. It's even green. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna jump in I think and go check the anchor because it's dragging a little bit. Well, we think it's the chain coming out, but just wanna make sure we're not dragging, don't wanna hit the rocks. Um should be a pretty little anchorage and I'm boiling so it's been we haven't we didn't get a chance to sail today, it was on the nose and it was eight at maximum, so yeah, we uh, used fuel but it's worth it to get to this point. So if you're a sailor, definitely come to this end of Tenerife and I'll put a map on to show exactly where we are. It's called Playa de Masca. It's called Playa de Masca, apparently, according to Matthew, but again. And it's at 
Ready? Yep, yeah, and it's at? 28 degrees. 28 degrees. 17 minutes. 17 minutes. 142. 142 north. 16 degrees. 16 degrees. 51 minutes. 51 minutes. 791 west. 791 west. So that is our exact position. If you want to anchor, it is beautiful. Really, really is worth coming to have a look at this. So I'm going to go off and go check the anchor, I think. So we just dived the anchor and it doesn't look like it's dug in at all, really. Um, it'd be okay because we're holding on the chain, but uh, we keep getting gusts of up to like 25 knots with it coming down the mountain. So we're we think we might be dragging. Um, so what we're going to do is wait for this square rigger behind me. I don't know if you can see this. Square rigger behind me to leave and go and anchor over there because I think it should be a sandy bottom. But we're kind of on rock and sand and it's not really digging us in well. So yeah, it drops to like eight knots, five knots and then it goes up to 21 so we'll see and i've got salt coming off my head it's kind of gross so yeah but this is still a beautiful anchorage so we're happy so we're a bit sad we um once the square rigger left we upped anchor and then the wind increased to 30 knots and it it was just uncomfy and we couldn't really get a good anchorage so that was just up ugh, up there just around the corner so we've came in here now, which it's pretty nice. Look, mountains, well, yeah, mountains, cliffs, all the way around us, and it's pretty nice. Got the sun over here too. Oh, hang on, let's see if we can get a better shot for you. Behind the clouds, so it looks quite cool. Behind my head. So we're just chilling out with some peach snaps and gonna cook dinner soon. It's a little bit rolly here, you can probably tell. Yeah, it's rolly. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. But we should be staying, I think we might be staying here tonight and tomorrow night. Depends on if the swell picks up. We might go back to the other place and um, just stay there for the day because as much as the anchor didn't get a good grip, um, it wasn't going anywhere too quick. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. So this morning Matthew got up and decided he was finding space for his fishing rod, which is here. But now we seem to have a roof panel down, wires hanging out of the roof. So let's go over to Dewdrop. What are you doing? What am I Dewdrop? I always call She's you nasty, Dewdrop. Isn't she? No, I'm not. Um, you know I love you. The holes where they were had rounded out, so the screws kept just slipping. So the panel was starting to hang loose. You see, yeah, you see so here, we have they're meant these. to be quite firm. Yeah. So I was trying to find ways. I, I used some wood, but that was too thick. That's these squares here. That was wood glue. Um, they just do thick. So I reconditioned a. Um, <laughs> it looks a bit of a mess. Uh, Chinese tub. A Chinese tub for the bits of plastic. I've managed to glue them on with the super glue, which is an actual plastic glue, so it's working better. And then I drilled some holes for the screws. So because it's the plastic's not very. Um, it's quite brittle. So it cracks and breaks easy. So I've drilled the holes for the screws instead of just screwing straight through, because I reckon the screw would have just smashed the plastic to bits. But we'll see if it works. I'm just wait for the glue to set properly. You can tell he's army, can't you? Just chop up, a, chop up bits and stick it to the roof. That'll do. Black and nasty, do. some string. That's what the tanks are all together, aren't they, in the army? Yeah. And ration packs. Because I had to repair it and exhaust it. Got me back to base, but... With a ration pack? A ration pack, yeah. But the exhaust uh, manifold had a crack in it, so I, I put a ration pack because I'm... Tin. Well, there you go. At least a tin bag. I put that on and um, sellotaped on because the sellotape melted. But it held long enough that we could drive back to the Remi to get them to fix it instead of having to wait for hours for them to come and pick us up. It's a bonus. We have ration packs on board, so if our yeah. engine ever goes, you can get. Uh, us no, it doesn't. It's it only lasts like half hour, if that. Actually, I think it only lasted like five minutes. But it got us to driving. <laughs> Moment of truth. Does a Chinese tub help to hold the ceiling up? Yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. Is that a Chinese tub too? Yeah. Hey. Well, we'll see. I mean, they're not really weight bearing these ones because the other screws should hold most of the weight for them. But it's uh, it's now back. I mean, it was hanging. Woo! We're rocking around a bit. We were hang It was hanging down a bit. A bit of a uh, looked a bit ugly. So now that holds it nice again. Nice. Look at them. 
Now you can get back to finding a place for your fishing rod. Perfect, I've got to put the light back on. So Matthew's had a look at Windy TV and decided that we're going to go straight to Gamora. I think that's what it's called. Isn't that a character from Guardians of the Galaxy? I was going to say, Gamora is. So maybe it's Gamora, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, he hasn't found a place for his fishing rod. In fact, he just stuffed it back in the full feet. But he's here making some eggs now. I've and found then... a place for the fishing rod. It, it fits nicely on the lip underneath that um, sofa. I just haven't got anything to mount it there yet. So once we've eaten breakfast, we're going to head over to the little island. It should take around five hours, but it is supposed to be Force 3. Force 2, Force 3, so, yeah, so it might, might take us a long time. It's five hours at five knots, so we probably won't be able to do that. So we'll take a bit longer, but we're not in a rush. No rush. And hopefully they have internet for our live stream uh, on Thursday. And because we can't buy poppies, uh, we made some yesterday and we're going to donate straight to the cause. So. Yeah, straight to the British Foreign Legion. To the British not, Foreign Legion. Not Foreign Legion, Le sorry, the British British Legion. Why did you say Foreign Legion? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I was thinking the French Foreign Legion. We don't want none of that, do we? So there you go. That's our plans for today. So we've just left our little anchorage and we're heading over over there. To Gamora, I don't think it's called Gamora. No, it's not. Pink. But I'm gonna call it Gamora. We'll go Guardians of the Galaxy on this, and then we're leaving this anchorage here. Uh, yeah, it's quite a nice day. We don't think we're gonna get much wind. It says around yeah, um, two not two knots at the minute, three knots at the minute. So hopefully we might get some when we're out of the shadow, but we're not hopeful. But we're looking forward to getting to a new anchorage. La Gomera is a small island off the west coast of Tenerife. It's not the one we were aiming to go to, but it's definitely more secluded. Matthew's behind me. He's got his tallywhacker out, I'll have to blur that. He's off to uh, check the anchor, I think, so we'll film him as he goes and sees if uh, it's all bit. So yeah, it's a pretty little anchorage. It's the first time Matthew said it's cold. Looks like he is wearing white shorts anyway, because his butt's out and so white. Yeah, I can see the bottom. It's all sand, so with a uh, spotted rock, so it's all good. He's out checking the anchor and he says we need to reverse a little bit to dig our anchor in. That's what I'm doing. Swimming back, so we'll find out if I've dug it in enough. Nudie doody. Oh, I'm sure that's what everyone wanted to see. Matthew! <laughs> We're bot for you. Are we are we dug in? Camera. I've made a mistake guys. Something you should uh, not do. I didn't put the ladder down. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get it for you. Turn. Oh wait, I'm going to see if I can get back on over without it. <laughs> yeah, in case you ever forget to do it and I jump in with you. Oh. Oh, come on monkey boy. <laughs> I just need to get... <laughs> Why is the ladder coming with me? <laughs> <laughs> come on Matthew. Heave. Oh. Heave. Your balls are hanging down, lovely. I'm gonna have to do some right blurring for this. <laughs> Since the majority of our watches are blokes. Oh. Oh. That was hard work. Are we dug in? Yes, yes. In sand? Oh yeah, it's all sand. Because there's lack of wind, it didn't dig in when we reversed. Uh, because we just didn't let it. So it was just sat on the top. But as soon as you put some welly on it, dug it in nicely. 
Oh, tired now. Is there any there. fish? No, nothing. Oh, there's nothing. Nothing down there. So we've anchored, had some pickled onions. What's the plan now, Matthew? Uh, go ashore over there. And we're going to follow the stream up, scramble up that cliff side, and then probably walk to the end. See if we can get some phone signal because we've got no service down here. And just have a look around and get some pictures. Means I better get dressed. Yes. Uh, and we didn't just eat pickled onions, we're not weirdos. <laughs> I had a tuna mayo sandwich and some pickled onions. How's your climb going, Pidge? Knackered. I'm not looking forward to getting back down. Show everyone that down. I swear he's trying to kill me. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it looks. There's passages down, and there's Nova down there. I'm rising. And where we're aiming to get up, the last few bits, through that gap onto the top of the cliff. Paige is loving it. Yep. <laughs> because everything keeps falling away. Yeah, it's quite a loose rock. So quiet. Well, we've made it to the top and we didn't die. I'll go show you Matthew who's over here. <clears throat> There's still no service here. It's quite nice actually. It's like being back in time. Quiet. There we go. There's Matthew, I think you can see him. It's very quiet if I if I shut up a minute. All well, you can hear is the ocean and the wind, so it's really nice. It kind of feels like you're an explorer. We got to the highest point, well, apart from going up there, but it's very beautiful up here. And I think when we get back to the boat, we're going to have to jump in because I'm going to die. Now we're trying to find a way down. Without causing too many rock slides. This is what I mean, people. He's definitely trying to kill me. You alright? Yeah, it's not actually bad. Are you going to come down to this bit? We've made it back down the mountain. Not sure if you can see my few is up there. There you go then. You shall not pass! He's been dying to do that, so there we have it. And he's bringing this bloody staff with him now. Fly, you fools! We're back and we didn't die, so that's a bonus. We got a little bit wet coming back because the uh, waves were breaking on the tender, but we managed it, the cameras survived, so it's all happy. And now we're going to go for a swim in the cold water to cool off. Matthew's down here drinking lots of orange juice. Finishing off that one. He's just finishing off orange juice, and now he's going to strip well, off. Apple juice you haven't even opened yet. Strip off, jump in, and go for a salty shower. Join us next time as we try to escape the swell, Matthew goes on air with BFBS and we do some zombie slaying. Thanks for watching guys, if you like that then please give us a thumbs up below and if you want to keep up to date with us on a regular basis then please think about subscribing. Massive shout out to all our patrons, thanks for your support guys. We hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you again next time, bye! Bye guys!